Hey, it's Rick Barker, host of the Music Industry Blueprint Podcast, former manager of superstar Taylor Swift. And many of you have attended uh, my recent presentation, The Five Keys to Breakthrough with Your Music, so you can finally get paid. But I want to talk about number one, that key number one right now that is so important and give you some tips on how you can make that a standard in what it is that you do. Key number one is quality music. My friend Daniel Dan one time, he says, look, Rick, quality is expected. That isn't the differentiator anymore. That isn't what makes you different. That's expected. But how can you test to see if your music is quality? So I'm going to give you a quick little tip that I think will help you a lot. So if you already have your music out on Spotify or Apple or things like that, what I suggest you do is determine your genre of music. So let's use hip hop for an example. So if you're a hip hop artist, I want you to create your quality music playlist. This is your tester. Okay, so you can create a playlist inside of Spotify. It's real easy to do. And I want you to drag in, go to Drake and add it to that playlist and go to Kendrick Lamar and add it to that playlist and take five or six popular artists today that are at the top of the playlist and at the top of the radio and I want you to add them into that playlist. Then what I want you to do is go to your Spotify channel and I want you to add some of your songs in between the popular songs, okay? So you're gonna have popular song, popular song, insert your song, popular song, your song, popular song, your song. You're going to create this playlist so that you can then take the playlist, push play from the beginning, and I want you to close your eyes, okay? I want you to close your eyes and I want you to listen and I want you to listen for a couple things. One, does your song stand out for the wrong reason? Maybe the vocals are too hot. Maybe the vocals aren't enough. Maybe your production sounds outdated compared to what's popular right now, to what's current. Maybe the lyrics, maybe you can't even understand the lyrics of your song right now and you understand and you realize, wow, all the popular songs I knew what the hook was. I knew where the drop was happening. I could understand the lyrics to the song. I got it. But when my song came on, I didn't. Now, the reason that I'm asking you to do it like that is because that's how the fans listen to music these days, passively. They aren't sitting there looking at it. They're listening from a distance. So if something sticks out for the wrong reasons, they may grab their phone and they may click next. They may go to the next song. That doesn't do you any good, any favors. That also doesn't help the playlist. So if you're trying to get your songs on playlist, you want to make sure that you're delivering quality goods. So what if you haven't added your songs yet to the digital service providers? You know, you can upload your songs directly into your own iTunes library and any songs that you have, you can create a playlist with songs that are in your library. So if you've downloaded a couple popular albums, you can take a couple of those songs, add your songs from your library in there and be able to do it as well. Because the key right now is you have to be able to compete, but you want to stand out for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. It's going to take someone four, five, six, seven times to go, man, who is that? You know, I, I, the song sounds like it belongs. That's the good part is if your song sounds like it belongs, people at some point are going to say, who is that? I want to check that person out. Hey, Siri, who was that? You know, Shazam, they're going to Shazam it when it comes on, or they're just going to look at the playlist and go, wow, let me go check out that person. Now, bonus tip, when they click on your profile, make sure that you have filled out your about section. Make sure that you've included the social platforms that they can come find you on. And then when they find you on these platforms, make sure that your bio is set up to where they go, you're an artist. There's a chance for them to hear more music. There's a chance for them to connect with you. Too often I see artists that I get to their social pages and I'm like, is this the person that I was listening to? Or I see a bunch of relevant, irrelevant, excuse me, stuff that they've posted on their feed. Make sure that everything says superstar. Make sure that everything shows that you belong with the people that you want to be with one day. I don't want to say compete with because we don't compete anymore, but we are competing for people's ears. We are competing for them to want to save us to their playlist and things like that. That's when you start making a difference is when people start saving. So the best way to do that, make sure that you've got your quality of music dialed in. If you'd like some more tips and tricks, you want to hear what the other 
four keys are to success, there's a link in the description. Every Thursday night, I do a live presentation, the five keys to break through in the music business so you can finally get paid. My name is Rick Barker. It's been a pleasure serving you. See you on the next video.